Tokabe American Indian Eatery came out of an idea that my business partner, Matt Chandra, and I had back out of just leaving college. And it was really about why native foods wasn't readily available on a daily basis outside of community events, family gatherings, powwows, things like that. Hi, what can I get started for you? And really what we wanted to do was create that in a culinary restaurant environment. And so we actually took a restaurant that my parents had that opened in 1989 called Gray Horse American Indian Eatery that was open in downtown Denver and took that as the prototype for what we wanted to create. And that was in a food court, so we really wanted its own space. We could share cuisine, but also really share cultural identity, cultural stories, um, and just make an environment that's made by Native people, but for everyone. My name is Ben Jacobs. I am the co-owner, co-founder of Tokabe American Indian Eatery and Tokabe Indigenous Marketplace. There's a large number of Native populations in Denver, people from lots of different tribal communities, and that's really based on uh, relocation uh, that happened where it was like bringing Natives off uh, rural areas, off reservations, bringing them to urban settings. Really a, another way of kind of a forced assimilation. Everyone has their own cultural identity, but in many ways we have that kind of scaffolding of support amongst one another. So it's really, um, it's really a positive environment. We're a fast casual style restaurant, which is counter service. And really we wanted to stick with that concept because when people come in and it's a native restaurant, they're like, what? What is Osage hominy salsa? What does braised bison look like? What is Eco's green chili stew? Like, what are these things? So we wanted people to be able to see the food. We wanted engagement with our crew because since there's not a lot of native restaurants, we wanted to have a lot of that personal interaction, dialogue building. And then really when it came down to the menu, it was all about accessibility. Lettuce and cheese? We started with Indian tacos, which was kind of our foot in the door. It's not a lot of restaurants to really model yourself after. And so when we were thinking about what could it be, that was something that was somewhat universally known, where people kind of were like, okay, I've seen that, or I've heard about that. We do four types of meat, braised bison, ground, ground bison, ground beef, and grilled chicken, and then a variety of toppings. Yeah, so it's all kind of choose your own adventure again to make sure that everyone is happy and satisfied. Stuffed up? We have uh, in the range of 70 to 75% native staff. We hire everyone. We hire a lot of people that have never worked in a restaurant. Uh, and it's really about having the balance of both. Because again, our restaurant is about native peoples. We want to bring that in and those you know, native folks, young native folks that want to work with us. It's always great to have people here that can represent the identity um, that we support. You know, we're a, we say we're a community driven experience. So it's really good to have um, native peoples here. And really as a job training center as well to be able to teach people getting their foot in the door in the culinary world is really cool. But also our restaurant is open and available to everyone. And so we wanna make sure that we have all different types of faces within our restaurant. And those people that are non-native that work here, it's great because they get engaged and interested and want to support the story of what we do, what we represent and really taking on the philosophy and the vision that we have. So again, it's all about supporting everyone and having that face available and that voice available, um, no matter what people look like or where they come from, it's really important to us. Hi, what can I get for you? We have grilled chicken, ground beef, ground bison, and our shredded bison.